Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Glass Menagerie by Tennessee Williams. This is a very famous memory play by Tennessee Williams and the story is actually told by Tom Wingfield and the play is set in St. Louis in 1937. Tom is actually an aspiring poet but he is toiling in a shoe warehouse and this he does because he has to support his mother Amanda and his sister Laura and uh, because his father had deserted them he was the only source of income for the family. Amanda recollects how many people used to pursue her to marry it when she was young and she is disappointed that her daughter Lara who wears a brace on her leg and is so very shy does not attract any gentleman callers so she is worried about how she will get married. In order to find some suitors for her, she enrolls Laura in a business college with two purpose. She thinks that this will attract men towards Laura. Second thing is, after completing the studies, maybe Laura will be able to bring up the family's uh, situation to a better economic status. Uh, but weeks later, Amanda comes to know that Laura, due to her shyness alone, had dropped out of the class secretly and she has been spending her time wandering in the city alone saying that she is going to college. Now Amanda decides that she has to get her married and begins selling magazine subscriptions so that the extra money which she earns, she believes will help to attract suitors for Laura. Meanwhile, Tom finds escape in liquor, movies and literature and because of this, both Tom and Amanda have frequent fights. Sir. And during one of the frequent arguments between Tom and Amanda, Tom accidentally breaks several of the glass animal figurines that are Laura's most prized possessions. Sir. Actually, these glass uh, animal figurines are only a menagerie. Uh, that they'll be very small uh, pieces made out of glass and mostly it will be wild animals. Sir. And now Amanda asks Tom to keep an eye out for potential suitors who come to the warehouse and Tom soon selects Jim O'Connor who is a casual friend and invites him to dinner at home. Amanda asks about Tom, uh, about Jim to Tom and she is delighted to learn that Jim is a young man with his mind set on career advancement. So she prepares an elaborate dinner and she also instructs Laura to wear a new dress. Only at the last moment Laura learns that the name of the person who is going to come is Jim and she wonders whether it will be the same Jim on whom she had a crush when she was in high school. And when Jim arrives, Laura opens the door on Amanda's orders and finding it is the same Jim who did his schooling along with her, she feels shy and quickly disappears leaving Tom and Jim alone. Tom speaks with uh, Jim. And he also confides to him saying that he had used the money for his family's electric bill to join the merchant marine and he is planning to leave his job and family in search of adventure. Lara feeling shy refuses to eat dinner with others saying that she is sick. Amanda wears an ostentatious dress from her glamorous youth and talks very nicely with Jim throughout the meal. As dinner is ending, the lights go out as a consequence of the unpaid electric bill. They light candles and Amanda actually encourages Jim to entertain Laura in the living room while she and Tom clean up. Laura is first paralyzed by Jim's presence but his warm and open behavior makes her to come out of her shell. She soon confesses that she knew and liked him in high school but was too shy to approach him. They continue talking and Laura reminds him of the nickname he had given her, that is Blue Roses, an accidental corruption of Laura's and illness Laura had in high school. He makes fun of her for her shyness and low self-esteem but praises her uniqueness. Laura then shows her favorite glass animal a unicorn to him and Jim dances with her but accidentally he knocks over the unicorn breaking off its horn. But Laura forgives him saying that now the unicorn has become a normal horse. Jim then kisses her but he quickly withdraws back and apologizes explaining that he actually has a serious girlfriend. Resigned, Laura offers him the broken unicorn as a savannah. Amanda enters the living room cheerfully 
and Jim explains that he must leave immediately because of an appointment with his fiance. Amanda sees him off warmly but after he is gone turns on Tom who says that he did not know that Jim was engaged. Amanda accuses Tom and then throws herself into comforting Laura. Soon Tom gets fired from his job and leaves Amanda and Laura behind. Years later, though he travels far, he finds that he is unable to leave behind guilty memories of Lara and what he recollects only is the story, Glass Manager. It's a beautiful story by Tennessee Williams. If you have anything more to add on to what I've said, please write it in the comment box. Like the video, share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and support. Thank you.